Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your week at uh, September 2020 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subber, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So with that said, let's get into your September 2020. So for your actions and interactions with the world at large, I had to take a moment there, <laughs> you have the Hermit card, right? So this is interesting because it looks like this month you're pulling yourself out of it, right? Maybe this is your regrouping, maybe you're coming back into yourself to figure out what the next steps are, where it is that you wanna go from here. Um, for a lot of you as well, I feel like this is either study related or you're consolidating the knowledge that you have. This is about sort of taking everything that you've got all of those skills, all of your qualifications, everything that you've gathered up until this point and starting to mold it or to shape it into something. This could be like a business proposal or it could be, you know, like this is what I wanna do for my company. This is what I wanna offer the world. It feels like you're taking all of the skills that you have and you're molding them and shaping them into something. So as an example, uh, my skills, tarot, numerology, astrology, um, you know, spirituality, FLP, PLR, uh, you know, at one point I had to take all of those things and think, right, okay, what am I going to do with all of this? And you start to build a picture. And I feel like this is what you guys are doing this month. You're using all of that uh, knowledge and energy that you have, and you're starting to formulate the plot. But the thing is, when you're doing that, very often you have to pull yourself, you have to do the hermit, right? You've got to pull yourself out of the wider world, forget what's going on there, forget what they're doing or any of that stuff. This much you are very much focused on yourself and staying in your own lane, which is great because when you stay in your own lane like that, you inadvertently end up creating a lane of your own. And that is what you want to focus on. So this is great, right? The other thing is as well, whenever the hermit card shows up, especially as an actions card, what do I always say to people? The hermit is what you do when the high priestess has a message for you. So this month, by doing that, by putting yourself into a space of quietude uh, and solitude maybe as well, you're going to allow your inner, um, your inner intuition and your inner, uh, your, you know, your inner wisdom to shine through. So this month, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your dreams, because you never know what spiritual insights or hits you're going to get that could become very relevant or pertinent or important for you at a later moment in time. So this is nice. For your money and materials, you have the uh, Knight of Swords. Now, it does look like you might be a bit hasty with the funds this month, right? Now, we've all been there. You know, we see something that is kind of, you know, on our paths or it's aligned with us or whatever. And we're like, take my money. <laughs> you know, I want it now. Give it to me. <laughs> um, you know, there's definitely a possibility for that. Because your Knight of Swords is basically saying this could be some fast or aggressive communication, or possibly it could be some fast or aggressive negotiations when it comes to something of a financial pursuit or a financial matter. Now, because it falls next to the Hermit card, it does feel like someone's trying to, it's almost like they're trying to leverage something over you and they want to get more money out of you or they're trying to squeeze more money out of you than maybe you're prepared to give or maybe than whatever it is that they're offering is actually worth. Um, my advice is, uh, yeah. Um, I've got to stop giving advice. Um, my, what I would say to you is have the conversation, negotiate your tushy off because you guys are really good at that. You know, when it comes to push comes to shove, you guys can be very, very persuasive. So use that to your best advantage and don't back down. Not that you ever would, but you know what I mean. When it comes to your uh, home and environment, it looks like things are going to be quite upheaved there this month. Um, and again, look, this is kind of at odds with your hermit thing. You might have moments this month where you're like, do you 
like, what, I just need five minutes to think, you know, or I just need 10 minutes of quiet time, please, give me a moment. Um, one of my brothers is a Sagittarius and I can see this playing out for him already. Um, so I'm quite intrigued to see how it's going to go. Um, for your uh, physical health and vitality, this could be where you could burn off some of that excess energy. Now, don't forget Mars is going to go retrograde on the 9th of September. That's a trine energy for you, right? So whether it's your sun, your moon or your ascendant. And as I've been saying to all of the signs this month, when I tap into, when I do a reading for a sign, I'm tapping into the energy of Sagittarius. So whether it's your sun that's there, your moon or your ascendant, this energy is for you. It's general. Not all of these messages are going to be for everybody. And I'm okay with that. Um, you know, you shouldn't, don't get me wrong. I love what I do and I try to make it as accurate as possible, but I'm not out here trying to fix people's lives and be some sort of guru. It's not me. Uh, <laughs> run of the mill, everyday guy me. Um, but yeah, that, that's why I'll say to you this month, you know, do something with that physical energy because you'll help burn off some of the mental anguish that you might be having. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Tower card next to the Knight of Swords. You could be having a bit of a blowout this month. There could be a conversation that reaches the point of screaming. Um, remember, the Tower card is where the shit hits the fan, right? And right next to that Knight of Swords, whoever this person is that's trying to squeeze you financially may push the wrong button. They might get you on the wrong day. Um, I feel sorry for them because it looks like they have no idea what they're going to be on the receiving end of. My The only thing that I will say to you try not to become a screaming harpy. I've done it a few times myself. And then, you know, when you sit back and you're like, oh, damn, I need to chill. <laughs> um, I try not to do it as, as, I try not to do it very often. It's not very enlightened or wise, is it? You know, um, but, you know, human, right? That's what I say to everybody. I'm human. I have my days and my moments too. Um, yeah, so what you probably want to watch out for is this energy this month because it does look like there's going to be at least one conversation that centers around money in some way that could get very heated all right for your heart and half you've got the um hierophant card this is really nice for, especially for those of you that are married but what i will say to you is because it falls next to that tower card <sighs> something about your relationship this month could come up for review and it may be that your partner says something to you or requests something from you that makes you go like hey what how you know where did that come from um if that is the case it's time for you to look at maybe the way that you're approaching things it's not to say that anybody is in the wrong it just it, it kind of feels like there's something here because remember this card is about the bigger structures or the institutions that we're tied to uh, a marriage itself is an institution in some way shape or form and the fact that this comes next to the tower card it looks like your communication slash relationship could be feeling the brunt of whatever else is going on so try not to bring the stuff that's going on outside this stuff inside to the relationship for those of you that are single you could be meeting somebody that is either in a position of power um you know maybe somebody that is a, a boss or a ceo or something of that nature now because this is next to the tower card as well this can speak to the structural stuff of homes or environments um, I've been seeing a few signatures come up recently that look like earthquakes, um, that look like, you know, foundational stuff being, um, and I feel like that's an environmental, like when I see them, I call them interruptions when, when it's something that's not necessarily to do with the reading, but something you may very well be affected by. Um, so I don't know where, you know, all of you live, but just be aware of your surroundings because you might be feeling that this month let's have a look at some clarifiers and see what's going on for your weeks of the month for your first week of september you have the tree of life this is a divine intervention or assistance in some way shape or form i love this card because when i see it it means that whatever you are doing you are supposed to be doing wherever you are you are supposed to be and this comes right underneath your hermit card consolidating that knowledge moving ahead in a specific direction when it comes to your skills your vocation all of that stuff this is the way that you're supposed 
supposed to be going. If you are feeling like withdrawing and working hard on this and you're feeling that sort of OCD obsessive energy, stick with it because you're going in the direction that you're meant to be going in, all right? Love it. For your second week of the month, you have the Devil card. So something of a financial nature is definitely coming up and it's been actually for you and for Scorpio. This looks like a really dicey month for finances, so just be aware of that energy. The fact that you've got the Devil card underneath the Nine of, Knight of Swords as well, um, you might find that as quickly as you lose your temper is as quickly as you let it go. And it may very well be that everybody you know around you kind of wants to stay in that energy and so therefore wants to keep you in it and it's going to be really important that you find a way to disconnect yourself from it um yeah that's as much as i'm going to say on that for your third week of the month you've got your card the temperance card right lovely so this is great because even though you have the tower card there there is a balm, there is a, a salve that can come to kind of cool the fire. Uh, this coming right underneath the um, temperance card as well, you could be hearing of a death that comes very suddenly, very shockingly, but um, it's... <sighs> I almost feel like it's going to be a person of stature. I don't feel like this is going to be somebody that I feel like this might be somebody that the world knows or somebody that is famous in your locality or do you know what I mean? Um, on another level as well, this could be, um, I feel like you may very well be drawn into some sort of drama that isn't actually yours. And then you end up kind of doing that whole piggy in the middle kind of energy where you're having to you know stop two people kind of being at each other's throats and all the while you've got your stuff that you're trying to focus on this month you might have to prioritize what is actually important to you and what and kind of who really isn't for your fourth week of the month you have the death card right so yes there is an ending or a completion coming up uh, and I do feel like it will be a physical death and I feel like it may very well be in response to or as a result of some uh, cataclysmic kind of event. I don't know why, but I'm, I've been feeling for a while that we're about to see a big natural disaster. Um, I couldn't put my finger on it previously, but, you know, a lot of the stuff that was previous came up in the weekly readings. So that was interesting. But yes, on a personal level... Uh, those of you that are single, um, it really does look like it's just about the physical connection. I'm not sure it's for the long term. For those of you that are partnered, again, there's this energy that something about your relationship is about to change or evolve. Um, and I actually think that's a good thing. You know, I think if anything, it could make your relationship stronger in the long run. So in the immediate, no matter how uncomfortable or discomforting it is, uh, try to go with it. All right. And then finally, for your key to the month, you have the sun card. All right, so look at this. You are, you have many a challenge this month. You also have not only a reprieve, but you get a reminder from the universe that you are heading in the right direction. There are going to be moments and pockets of time and energy this month that are smooth, that are easy. Take them when you can and take them when they come, all right? Be along for the ride this month. I think you'll get more out of it if you, if you can kind of do that, you know? When you're in it, be in it. When you're out of it, be out of it and let that be that, you know? Let your no mean no and your yes mean yes. With that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Ooh, sun card is a little bit, wit, a little bit tipsy there. <laughs> it might very well be that you are as well. Um, with that said, take care uh, and have a great month. I'll see you soon.